Hi guys, it's Miss Terry here. We've got a great story for you today. It's called What Pet to Get? And it's by Emma Dodd. Let's get a pet, said Jack one day. I promise to look after it. If you like, dear, replied his mother absentmindedly. What pet should we get? Jack thought about it for a little while. I think we should get an elephant, he announced. I could ride it to school. An elephant would be very nice, dear, but not very practical. How would we take it on vacation? On the roof, of course, said Jack. I don't think so, dear. It might squash the car. Hmm, maybe not an elephant then, said Jack. What about a lion, he said. I'd remember to feed it every day. Well, that would be super, dear, replied Mom. But lions do have very big appetites. Anyway, it would frighten the mail carrier. Hmm, I hadn't thought of that, said Jack. Jack thought some more. I think we should get a polar bear, he said. It would be a great playmate. A polar bear would be lovely, dear, replied his mother, but I don't think it would like central heating. Hmm, I suppose not, agreed Jack. Jack thought some more. What pet to get? Could we get a Tyrannosaurus Rex, he asked. That would have been a great idea, dear, replied Mom, but unfortunately the Tyrannosaurus Rex has been extinct for 65 million years. What a shame, said Jack. Well, what about a giraffe? Too tall. A rhino? Too wide. A bison? crocodile? Too snappy. I suppose a shark is out of the question. Yes, dear, sighed Mom. Perhaps you could try to think of something less exotic. Early the next morning, Jack announced, I've got it. Let's get a dog. That's an excellent idea, dear, said Mom. We'll go this morning and choose... a lovely little puppy. <laughs> the end. We hope you've enjoyed our silly story, What Pet to Get by Emma Dodd. We'll see you next time for another great story of the day, but until then, air hugs. Bye, friends.